In this video, I will answer questions in the comments. Why do I call prices in dollars? I'm from Belarus. Here are the dollars considered on par with the Belarusian ruble. In future videos, I will specify prices in two currencies. The second most popular question in the comments is the cost of the house. $24,000 for a house without a plot of land. Well, let's calculate how much it would cost today when building on its own. I will only count materials. Materials will take the average price range. Prices were taken in the city of Moscow. Let's take the ideal conditions. Nothing was spoiled, nothing extra was ordered, which is almost impossible on a large object. We will not count the land plot. Someone has it and someone will buy it. So it'll be incorrect to count its cost. The basis of the house is metal trusses. Initially, I did not know how to best place the house on a plot of land. The construction company offered a variant of prefab house. This design can easily be moved by crane as you like on a piece of land. So to the numbers, there are 290 meters of pipe size 50 by 50, 20 square meters of decking, 12 meters of imitation timber, 9 liters of paint for wood. Total, $800. Many people asked why I didn't use the container. It's kind of easier and cheaper. In fact, it is not easier and not cheaper. The container is the first thing that came to my mind when I wanted to build a house, but there is a problem in the height of the ceiling. The standard container has a height of two hole and six tenths of meters. Inside, two hole and four tenths of a meter, and when we add the insulation on the floor of 20 centimeters and on the ceiling of another 20 centimeters, it turns out less than two meters. There is a variant of the container of increased height, two hole and nine tenths of a meter, inside, two hole and seven tenths of a meter. Subtract the thickness of the floor and ceiling insulation, and the maximum height to the floor is 225 centimeters. In this house, the ceilings are 2.5 meters, while the floor height is 3 meters. The second is not cheap. I'll go ahead and say that the size of the first floor is larger in area than a 40-foot container, and the metal costs $535. The price of a used container starts from $2,200, and it needs to be brought to the site, cleaned of rust and treated with anti-corrosion. It makes sense to use a container if you already have it or can buy it very cheaply. In all other versions, this is more expensive and more difficult. If you decide to play with the container model, then the link is in the description of the video. Suitable for the program SketchUp. Why I used a metal frame in principle and not a brick. I wanted to build a house quickly, and the goal was not to build a house for the ages. Such a house can be built in three to four months, and brick construction is years. This house is not eternal, just as we are given this life for a while. So why build something that will outlive us? There are enough examples of such buildings for centuries in Belarus. In Russia, I think no less. Such a house is now almost impossible to sell and rebuild is also problematic. Fashion for homes is changing. What is now considered fashionable will be so-so in 20 years. In the case of a prefab house, it can easily be expanded or rebuilt. Sheets of tin are welded on the base of the house so that the mice do not run into the house, but one somehow got through. In this video, I'll tell you how I evicted her from the house. Metal frame. 328 meters, pipe size 50 by 50. Next to the metal, we made a grid of wood with cells of 60 centimeters. This is the size of the width of the insulation. The width of the wooden beams is 40 millimeters, and the height on the floor and ceiling is 200 millimeters. Total 174 linear meters. The walls are 100 millimeters wide, 132 linear meters. For year round living, it is better to make at least 200 millimeters everywhere. The roof here looks like a flat surface, but in fact has a slight slope in two directions. The arrangement is simple. Sheets of plywood board and three layers of roofing material are welded. The first two layers are lining properly roofing paper, and the third is roofing. The stairs to the second floor were made with my friend in two days from a metal pipe, 60 by 100, and sheets of steel 5 millimeters. Metal with wooden steps at a cost of $95. Stairs to order cost 10 times more expensive. Next, from the inside around the perimeter, we lay a vapor barrier. We put CPBB on it. CPBB is a cement bonded particle board. Excellent thing. Expensive, heavy, difficult to saw, but it's worth it. It does not emit any harmful substances, in contrast to the oriented structural board. Although almost all the entire first floor of the house is made of OSB, my device did not show a significant excess of formaldehyde, but the chipboard is very high in formaldehyde. But still, CPPB is better to use. Put plastic windows and doors. I don't think there will be anyone who decides to make them on their own, so there's nothing to tell. I didn't draw the insulation layer. The walls need 72 square meters of insulation, 100 millimeters thick. Floor and ceiling, 200 millimeters of insulation, 64 square meters. On the ceiling, ceiling rail. About cold bridges. I don't know how to live in it in winter. I plan to go in February with a thermal imager and spend the night there. I will definitely post a video about this for you. The metal here does not adjoin the inner space at all. In general, I will not fantasize, but I will check everything, tell you, and show you. The exterior cladding and the so-called ventilated facade will remain. 
Wooden boards are 140 millimeters wide and 18 millimeters thick, 70 square meters, 20 liters of paint. The bank says consumption of one liter per 10 meters. I got almost four times more. Why is that? Due to the fact that the paint was applied with a spray gun and a lot of it just flew into the air. When painted with a single layer, the paint is very well absorbed into the board and the layer is too thin so that you get a rich brown and most importantly a thick layer. Cover it in three to four layers. In total, the first floor cost $3,800. That, you will agree, is a little. Go on, second floor. The dimensions are three and a half by six meters. It's all the same way. The metal frame is 148 meters, the terrace 102 meters. The roof here also has a slight slope and is made as the same as on the first floor. Wooden grating 100 meters in size, 40 by 200, and 60 meters in size, 100 by 40. Vapor barrier, CPBB. I'll split the windows and doors here. The windows cost $200, but the door is retractable. It is possible and cheaper to put the usual for $300. Accent on the door made, as there were comments that I was deceived and it cost $150, but its price is now in Moscow. The door is comfortable, but I think if it was a normal with a stopper, it would be equally good. Just then I really wanted to open the sliding door. Next, the insulation according to the same scheme, 200 millimeters floor and ceiling, and 100 millimeters wall. Ceiling rail and complete the facade 57 square meters. A decking leads to the terrace. Paint 20 liters. There are questions where the water goes from the terrace. It flows down between the boards on the roof and due to a small slope on the roof, the drain pours. More metal slopes and ebbs. Total, $3,500 second floor. In total, we get $6,300 for the cost of the materials for this construction, but that's not all. The house needs to be connected to electricity, sewerage, making minimal repairs for a comfortable stay. Sewerage, four meters of polymer rings. Electrics are counters, automatic machines, cables, sockets, switches, wallpaper, laminate with baseboards, light strips, transformer boxes, boilers, cooker, refrigerator, fireplace, sofa, kitchen cabinets. I only count the cost of chipboard with loops. Of course, we collect everything ourselves. Video surveillance and alarm system. About the autonomous alarm system, asked what it is. Photo Express GSM. Its advantages are that it runs on batteries for six months. Works without false earnings. The disadvantage is poor image quality. Already ordered alternatives to it and cheaper. I'll make a video review of their comparison when I get them. There's also a plot of land that needs to be improved. Make a fence, $1,950. Align it and more small things. In conclusion, the electricity bill is $200. It's also worth counting gasoline for four months of work. In general, finishing and connecting the house to communications is another $10,500, a total of $16,800. Did not spoil anything, did not order too much. Carry yourself from the store and everything is fine with the car. Cheerfully carries you without breakdowns. Work yourself. But that doesn't happen. From practice, you need to add another 20% to get a more or less real amount of cost for this house. And most likely, it'll be $22,000. Earlier in the video, I said that it cost me about $24,000, but now I strongly doubt it. I did not count very small items in gasoline in this amount, and this makes it a fairly large amount. So I find it difficult to name the amount for how much this house actually cost me. What I didn't do in the house, but should have done, is forced ventilation. Since I live mostly in the summer, the ventilation is due to a slightly open window. There is a necessity of purchase of such device is the recuperator. I wanted to buy a recuperator, but it seemed to me that the device is very simple, but it is quite expensive, so I decided to make it myself. I'll report on the results in future videos. Thank you for viewing.